carbs come last. I'd love for you to just evaluate the composition. Which one should we eat first? So here we have the protein, the fat, and then carbs. The fat and the protein, I'm such an advocate of them. One, because they're essential. Both of these would have the essential, some degree of essential fats I need and essential pro amino acids that we need whereas there's no such thing as essential carbs. Now with the carbohydrates, if it's plant, it's carbohydrate. And we have a view of plants, which is I think a little rosier than it ought to be. Fruits and vegetables would do nothing to insulin. This amount, especially this amount, but you could eat an entire bowl of this salad here and it would have no effect on your glucose or insulin. Where the rice is absolutely going to elicit a glucose and insulin effect, although that's a modest amount. Now you'd mentioned the timing Carbs come last. We want to appropriately appreciate the macros that some matter more than others by way of what's essential and what has the strongest insulin effect. But then even then, we could take a meal like this and then balance that or time it, structure it in a way to mi minimize or mitigate some of the metabolic impact. And the simple reminder there is carbs come last.